Uh, March is National Nutrition Month, and we all want to eat healthier, of course, but we also want to eat real food, which tastes good, right? Well, joining us is health coach and motivational speaker and blogger at Weightless, uh, Jen Espinoza Goswami. Nice to have you here, Jen. Thank you, Tom. It's nice to be here. Yeah, and you call yourself a former fat girl. Your words. I do. You lo but this is incredible. You lost 90 pounds. Yes. Wow, and, and you did it by, I guess, recipes like you're going to show us today. There's some before and afters. Look at that. That's great. <laughs> that is fantastic. Congratulations on that. Well, thank you. How long did it take you to do that? It took me about a year, mm -hmm. which is the average amount of time most people take to lose that much weight. It's a right. significant amount of weight. But yeah, I, I just experimented. I tried different things, and I figured out the process. I like it. Well, let's hear some of the secrets. <laughs> uh, and, and one thing you were telling me, yes, Tom, you can have your cake and eat it too, because we were talking about the fact that when you go through weight loss and that type of thing, sometimes you, the food isn't the greatest. So in this case, you've got some desserts that are desserts, A, and B, they taste really good. Absolutely, and I really feel that you don't have to deprive yourself. In fact, it, studies show that 96% of dieters who give up their favorite foods, they give up their diet because they don't want to eat those gross, I right. mean, those healthy foods all the time. You sure. want to treat yourself. So today I'm going to give you a taste of what I'll be presenting at Mom's Rock Expo in early May at the Convention Center about how to have your cake and eat it too. Great. I love it. All right. So we're going to make, is it a brownie type thing here? Absolutely. Yeah. So when it comes to eating healthy, there are two different considerations you can keep in mind. These brownies are flourless, fudgy brownies. Now, they're gluten-free. A lot of people think that you have to give up grain in order to live healthy. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily true. But I like to show this recipe because it has a lot of good nutrients in it. And then at the end, I'll also point to my blueberry lemon cake, which oh, blueberry. <laughs> oh, blueberry is a fantastic yeah. spring kind of ingredient. Right. And it incorporates high fiber and yogurt for fat. So okay. I'll talk a little bit about the different substitutes we can use. I love it. All right, let's get going. Fantastic. Well, first of all, I'd like to point to the different substitutes out front here. Sure. We have almond flour and oat bran. Mm -hmm. These are great substitutes for white flour because, you know, white flour is not very healthy. We do a lot of this you. with like pancakes and that kind of thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And for those people who don't like the taste of the texture of it, that's fine. Use half white flour yes, and half that's oat what bran. We do. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Right. It works well. Right. And then in terms of fat, if you're looking for low fat baking, some of us are, you use things like yogurt mm -hmm. and applesauce apple instead sauce. of butter or oil. Ah, okay. I mean, I know uh, gr my daughter Grace loves these, uh, but I didn't know you could use that as a substitute. Absolutely. Okay. And how many parents don't have go-go squeeze at their house? Right. So if you have kids, you have go-go squeeze. Mm -hmm. And in terms of baking, coconut oil is also an excellent substitute for butter and for oil. Okay. Coconut oil is very high fat, but it has healthy fats, heart healthy the fats. The good kind of fat. Exactly. Got it. And that's what we're going to be putting in our brownies today. So you ready to cook it up? I am. What, what do you need me to do? Fantastic. Well, in our pan here, we have melted some chocolate chips. Mm -hmm in coconut oil. Very nice. And once that has cooled a little bit, we want to make sure we don't scramble our eggs here. In this bowl, we have eggs, so okay. if you can Dump pour that in there. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, I smell the coconut. I like that. Doesn't it smell fantastic? Yeah. It looks like it melts nicely with the chocolate, too. Absolutely. Okay. They mix together very well. We'll say that's all in there. Even okay. It's left a little bit. Absolutely. And then we add sugar to this. Now, the recipe I use calls for one cup of sugar, but I don't want one cup of sugar, and it's not the healthiest thing to do. So what I do is I take half the amount of sugar that's called for. Mm -hmm. Experiment. Sure. Play around with your ingredients. And it works out. granulated sugar is fine. Too. Granulated sugar is fine. Right. If you want to use substitutes like stevia, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, you can do that. Personally, I don't like the taste of it. I don't it. either. So I don't use it. I'm with you, Jen. <laughs> I'm with you. Don't eat things you don't like. No. That's the end result here. And then you pour it into the dry ingredients, which is almond flour and cocoa powder. Okay. Cocoa powder has a lot of great nutrients for you, and it provides that sweet taste that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, and once you've got that all together, you stir it together. Put it in a pan, mm -hmm. throw it in the oven, 350 degrees for right. about 20 minutes, and here's what you end up with. Oh, very nice. Flourless, fudgy brownies yes. made with almond flour. Can I give it a try? Absolutely. It looks great. And that, oh, that's very good. Yeah, it has a very smooth texture. Mm -hmm. And you still get that nice cocoa flavor and the chocolate flavor. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Jen, I love it. Uh, you can check out Jen's blog. It's Weightless is the name of the blog. Also, mark your calendar because Jen is doing a demonstration at the Mom's Rock Expo on May 2nd and 3rd. And where is that going on? 
That's at the convention at center. Convention center. Uh, information available at MomsRockExpo.com. That's MomsRockExpo.com. Jen, thanks for being here. Thank you, Tom. It was great to be we'll here. We'll have to have you back sometime. Absolutely. For more desserts. And we like the desserts, especially those that are good for us. Absolutely. Doggone it. Keith